Hello everyone, I'd like to spend a few minutes with you and give you a rundown of this program called Smart PC Fixer. Smart PC Fixer is uh, kind of a Swiss army knife just packed full of utilities and, uh, and fixes and scans for your Windows based computer. Um, I'm going to show you how it works on Windows 7. I apologize if you have XP or, or something like Vista still. Um, this, some of these program options maybe won't be applicable to you. But I think most of us are on Windows 7 now, so this will hopefully help out a bunch of you. Um, why I was looking for a solution such as this is recently when I went to shut down my computer, um, it, my everything would disappear, my icons would disappear as if when it was, was going to shut down, but my mouse cursor stayed there and it was like my computer just kind of hung. Nothing would happen, so I would always have to shut it down manually by pressing the button and that got really tiring because every time I would boot Windows would say oh we detected you know you didn't shut down properly and I just got tired of it I thought okay something's wrong so I did some googling I looked for some software I tried a bunch of free programs I wasn't too pleased with the results um, and uh, this was actually a big help to me so I'm, I'm happy to share what I found and hopefully I can help other people refrain from pulling out their hair as I unfortunately did with mine so um, the cool thing is, Smart PC Fixer, once you register it, it costs, I don't know if it's 30 or 50 bucks, but you can install it on up to three computers. So this is the second time I've installed it. I have it on my desktop here now for this video, um, and it's full of errors, so that's cool. I want to show you what that looks like. Um, my laptop is running better. My desktop, well, as you'll see, there's room for improvement. So without further ado, once you click on the link beneath my video here, you'll be brought to this website where you can download the program. Now I've already downloaded it and installed it so I'm not going to show you that but that's pretty easy. Um, here's what the program looks like after you run it for the first time and it will actually uh, automatically start a quick scan. Um, go grab a coffee while that's running because for me it took a long time. It was like 10-15 minutes but I do have a couple of larger hard drives full of stuff. Um, so your mileage may vary. It might go quicker for you, but don't be alarmed if it takes 10, 15, 20 minutes even because it's, it's doing a very thorough job. Um, so the results of my quick scan are as follows. It tells me there's issues in the registry, you know, there's some evidence left behind, there's some quote-unquote junk files, shortcuts, and some file association problems. Now depending on what your problem is with your computer and why you're looking for solutions such as Smart PC Fixer, maybe this information is valid, maybe it's not. So let's talk about real quick what this stuff means. Uh, registry problems, unfortunately, it's kind of like the nervous system of Windows. If you have problems there, um, you could have a number of symptoms or you could have no symptoms, right? It doesn't mean that um, 568 problems doesn't mean that my computer is totally unusable right now. Um, it's it's kind of using that word problem a little, you know, maybe it's a little bit too graphic. Um, but nevertheless, what a registry problem could refer to in this case um, is if you uninstalled software that didn't do a very good job at cleaning up after itself it could have left behind some trails some entries perhaps and Windows um, you know is still going to be um, processing those and certainly that could lead to a slowdown if you have hundreds or thousands of these uh, orphaned entries so it's always a good idea to clean those up if you have a software program that can do so reliably um, but I'm going to just mark that. We'll, we'll come back to that point because you always want to back up your registry first before you make any changes. That's a very very good habit and we'll talk about that in a moment. Evidence files is relating to things like cookies and your web history and stuff like that. Um, not a big deal for me. It um, might be a big deal for you but nevertheless Smart PC Fixer is like a jack of all trades. It can, it can clean up so many different things that would normally result uh, or, or, you know, you'd have to buy three or four different programs to do everything this one program does, which is really cool. Junk files is you know stuff in your recycle bins, things in your temporary folders. Um, you know, again, things that could be taking up a surprisingly large amount of space on your hard drive, um, which are generally safe to delete. Right? Uh, shortcut files that point to nowhere and file association problems. These aren't big deals. It's more just like housekeeping. Right? Uh, so beyond the quick scan, after you go ahead and let's say you, you were to fix those up, you can go a little bit deeper and uh, do things individually, right? The quick scan kind of talked about these things already, but you can go and just scan one of those four areas in the future uh, if you suspect you'd need to. System Optimize gives you a lot of different options as well. I, I haven't played with too many of these things yet. I'm still pretty new to the software. However, I did find Startup Optimize to be a very helpful section. Uh, again, that was under System Optimize 
and then it's the startup button. What this does is it helps you to see what programs are being called or loaded when Windows is, uh, is starting up. Um, very, very useful. Uh, for example, down in your taskbar, you might have you know, a whole collection of icons there, and you might say, geez, you know, I don't like all these things starting when Windows starts. It takes too long. So you can certainly experiment by removing certain things from your startup. Um, and when Windows begins, these programs will not be called to load. So it will significantly, in some cases, improve your boot up time. Very, very cool. Um, the system fix option uh, is kind of a don't go there unless you need to section, in my humble opinion. Um, if you have a specific problem that relates to something that you're seeing here, by all means, go ahead and play with it. But, um, you know, I wouldn't go poking around and messing with DLLs. This is more of an advanced feature unless you know what you're doing. However, this is a cool feature. Under System Fix DLL Download, you can search for DLLs that are missing. If a program calls for a DLL and you don't have it installed, you'll receive this pop-up that says, hey, we're missing a file. Well, Smart PC Fixer lets you type in the name of the DLL you're missing, hit a search button, and wouldn't you know it, they have a bunch of these DLLs available for you uh, from their server for download. Very cool because you can trust that they're not going to be infected with the virus and they're going to be legitimate. So I really, really commend them for including that. That is a cool feature. Um, beyond that, the system tools menu has uh, a bunch of utilities, <clears throat> excuse me, and I haven't played with all of them. However, I do like the file splitter and the file shredder. I'll be using those. File splitter lets you break up a large file into smaller chunks and then join it again. Uh, useful if you need to transfer a large file between two computers and you don't have a network connection. Um, again, because you can install this program on more than one computer, it's a very viable solution. And File Shredder lets you obliterate a file so that it can't be unerased or undeleted with uh, special tools. Again, very, very cool to protect your personal information. Uh, the backup section, you'll remember when we first started our video together, I said it's always a good idea to back up your registry before you make changes, and you'll see that's an easy to accomplish task with Smart PC Fixer, a simple click of the button, you can back it up. I'd recommend maybe putting it on a USB drive. Your registry probably won't be that big, maybe a few hundred megabytes, which will fit on certainly most people's thumb drives. Um, system restore, favorite backup, folder backup. Again, just kind of a way to preserve your, um, your preferences on the computer. Um, again, very, very cool piece of software. Overall, I'd say Smart PC Fixer is definitely worth the money. Um, if you were to go and buy software that does these things separately, and yes, there are software solutions out there that do these things separately and sell very well, you'd spend hundreds of dollars potentially. So it's kind of cool to see it all under one roof, um, and I highly recommend it. It's, it's done wonders for me. So I hope this video was helpful for you in deciding if the program will be useful for you. Feel free to leave a comment below if you have any questions, and if I can help, I will be happy to. Take care.